All right, so I just got done watching, um, what was this, episode nine of Playboy, and a lot was happening, a lot was happening. Uh, you already know it's not going in order. It's going off of what I feel about the episode. So what really stood out for me was, who's that, the king and captain, all right? You know, we, even though they wasn't in the episode that much, I was, because, you know, King, you know, Captain on his mess. He be doing, he be doing a whole lot. Just not with Keen, but with everybody else. He be doing a whole lot with these secret videos. Okay, and I'll get to that in a minute. But I was like, when is Keen going to find out? And lo and behold, after Captain then did some mess and then resulted in somebody losing their job, Who's that? Noof and Pop. They saw the video. And I guess Noof is friends with Keen. I'm not sure how they're friends. But he could tell. He was like, hold up. Wait a minute. That's Keen. And so he's getting ready to call Keen. And Keen called him and said, the boy I'm entertaining was in my closet and took the box out. So then... He was like, you know what? Let's do let's do this. Let's have the confrontation. So I believe it was non it was non Zoe and Captain and then Keen, Noof and Pop were there. And then they was like trying to figure out like if it's not yours, then whose is it? Why you got it? You know, all those kind of details, whatever. Basically non was like, if I find out it's you, you know what I'm about to do. All right, so they leave, and then Newt was like, King, don't leave yet. I got to show you something. That's when he pulled out the video clip and showed him. And then King was like, how can you do this to me, Captain? I'm ready for King to get on some revenge. Because Captain been doing too much. Because like, in this episode, um, Porsche, I don't know why he feels this way. But he's now he's getting real um, possessive over Jump. Talking about, I got to get what's mine. Because now Jump is with... Um, I forgot the man's name, but I think he's, like, an actor, and, like, he does, like, interviews and things like that, and Jump is, you know, showing him all the attention, he's with him. Basically, they, like, I won't say they dating, but, you know, they doing their thing, and Porsche's upset about it, so he he know that that man's, like, important, you know, he's out, in, you know, in the entertainment industry, so he told Captain, go and, video, you know, put, set up one of your video cameras, and then get the clip, and then put it on your website. First of all, Captain, he does this stuff, but he he's not smart about it. Because you just putting stuff up and you're not blurring nobody's face or nothing. And it's like, it's, that stuff's going to come back to bite you. That man lost his job. He lost his livelihood. And as you saw in the clip, Jump is still standing beside, still standing with that man. He not with you, Porsche. If he wanted you, he would have went with you. He don't want you. He don't. And this just proved to him why he don't want you. Like, you doing all this and for what? And the way that man was looking at Porsche, oh, it's showing I'm about to get some revenge. That man was like, you ruined my livelihood, you ruined my career. I'm going to get mine. I'm going to get my revenge. And am I mad about it? No, I am not. No, I am not. If that man want to get his revenge, let him get his revenge. Now, moving on to prom and non. That if it opened up, I was confused. Cause, you know, they would say, you know, you know, prom be having those TVs, they be on, but they be like on that static -y channel. And I'm like, what are you doing? What are you trying to, what are you trying to get a, um, a ghost or <laughs> that come through the, the, the TV screen? What are you trying to do? What is this, the exorcist? What are you doing right now, prom? But they was watching the news and it was talking about somebody's, you know, that was unalive, they, they found them. And I'm like, is this about the, is this a foreshadowing? I don't feel comfortable with this. Like, I know some people like to watch their first 48, you know. They like to watch Law & Order and stuff. But this is kind of uncomfortable because you guys are doing an active in investigation. But then, next thing you know, someone put their arm around prom. And I'm like, what are we doing? Next thing you know, he's talking about, he is both the twins in the bed. And I'm like, what the hell is going on? Not both the twins, non and nan. Uh-uh. Wait, wait. And then... He turned away from one of the twins, and then the twin turned back around. I'm like, what is happening? And then he woke up, and he was like, I feel bad because 
I had a dream about both the, you know, both of the brothers, but I'm starting to forget what Nan looked like because I'm been spending so much time with Nan. They're twin brothers. They're identical twins. They look just alike. What do you mean you're forgetting what he looks like? Just look at Nan. Like, <laughs> what do you mean you forgot what Nan looked like? Look at Nan. Just, just don't look at the the blonde stripe in his hair. Just, just see it all as brown. That's that's him. That's Nan. That's Nan. They're identical twins. Like there's no, there should be no confusion. Or I can't remember what he looks like. The only difference is the different personality, and and Nan got all brown hair. Like, are you kidding me right now? You just on some freak type shit. That's what it is. You want both of them. Trying to talk about, like, I can't remember. Like, you know what? And then we didn't get a lot of Tina and Zoe this episode. I'm not upset about it. You know, because they be giving us a lot of them all the time. And I'm like, we can't take a break from them. Let us see the rest of these people. Now, Song and Thirst. <sighs> You know, I am, I will say I am proud of first because he was like, he realized he has a problem and he wants to get help for it. Where I had to skip, 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 skippity skip across the rocks in the hopscotch was when the dad met with Song and played that video. Hell no. Okay, I was already traumatized the first time when they made the video. I don't want to see it. Skippity skip, skip, skip. From what I saw when I was skipping, it looked like dad told him to pack your shit and get the hell on up out of town. Before I get before I get to you. And I'm like, I right, hey. Hey. Cause first was already into this type of shit, but it, it got worse when he met with you. So maybe he wants first to, you know, get treated or something. I don't know. But I will say the psychologist that is the dad's friend, she was giving me she you know, she was giving me phobic, phobic vibes. The same kind of vibes dad was giving. Okay, a couple episodes ago, when he was talking before before I first ran away, and you know what I mean, you know what I mean. But she's getting the same vibes, talking about you're just confused. We knew we look. She used that word. We knew about this from a long time ago. You're just confused. You need to stay off that app. Leave those people alone that get you to do these kind of actions. What you what you mean? These kind of people. Uh huh. Uh, it's, it's sounding kind of homophobic. Uh-huh. That's what it sounds like to me. Talking about just play a sport and meditate. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Sound kind of homophobic to me. Now, we're going to move over to Ob and Pune. Okay. Now, we've already been saying Pune been like an Ob. Okay, and I've been like, I'm not into all that. But then we got some more backstory. I was like, I had, you know, I've been in this industry since I was 18. I'm 34 right now. You know, and Pew was trying to find you. He was like, damn, you've been doing this for so long. You about to, you almost the same age as my dad. And I'm like, why would you say that? Why would you say that to this man? You talking about you like him and you want him. Why are you trying to, why are you trying to play in his face right now? Shut up. And then... <laughs> He and he told him uh, um Pun told him to come back to his house so they can drink, so they get back to his house or whatever. And why is Ob the only one that's drunk? And I'm like, mm, what's happening? What's happening here? I'm feeling a bit uncomfortable. So then I was talking about how when um I guess he was younger, he had a sugar daddy, but the sugar daddy was so jealous and so possessive that anytime he looked at somebody, he he'll beat he'll get his people to take care of them people, you know, whoop their ass. Okay, so that's why now, and then the sugar daddy got tired of him. Then one of them were in front of him aside and told him to work here at the Playboy house. So now he said, I just shut off my emotions and I just stay as I am. And Pew was like, you don't have to do that. I love you. I want to be with you. And Pew was like, and um, I was like, why? And he was like, <laughs> Pew was like, because you took my virginity. And I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> Next thing you know, they're on the bed. And then Pune got Ob's legs all up around his head. I'm like, Pune, calm down. Calm down. I know you want the man, but calm down. And then it turns out Pune had sex with Keen. Ob found out about it and started crying. 
said, why would you do this to me? You said you wanted to be with me. You said you loved me, child.